The Captive Air Amphibious Transporter CAAT, is a 1 to 5 scale tracked amphibious vehicle prototype being developed by DARPA. It drives on the water with air-filled pontoons attached to the tracks, and is intended to demonstrate how to transport standard 20 or 40-foot containers from ordinary container ships to shore without using a harbor. DARPA is investigating its usefulness in disasters so that commercial shipping can relieve military ships to focus on military tasks. The CAAT is one of four elements in the Tactically Expandable Maritime Platform temp program, the others being a containerized living quarter, a stabilized crane, and an unman-powered parachute delivering containers by air. <laughs> UHAC The Marine Corps Warfighting Laboratory is using the CAAT's air-filled track system in its ultra-heavy lift amphibious connector UHAC concept. The objective is to develop a new amphibious connector to transport U.S. Marine Corps vehicles from ship to shore in heavier loads and over shore obstacles. A half-scale demonstrator was used during RIMPAC 2014, where it was loaded with an internally transportable vehicle, launched from the USS Rushmore LSD-47, then paddled to shore. The demonstrator was 42 feet 13 meters long, 26 feet 8 meters wide, 17 feet 5 meters high, weighed 38 tons, and traveled at 4 to 5 knots on water. The hull was made of aluminum, with a small pilot house mounted on the bow. Using track feet fitted with dense air impregnated foam blocks make it buoyant in the water and propel it on land, allowing it to traverse through mud, sand, and marshland when ashore. This made the demonstrator's ground pressure about 1 psi, compared to 9.7 psi for the amphibious assault vehicle. The full-size UHAC is planned to be 84 feet 26 meters long and up to 34 feet 10 meters high. The UHAC is primarily aimed at potentially replacing the landing craft air cushion hovercraft, but it could also supplement it and replace the landing craft utility. Compared to the LCAC, the UHAC is planned to have a heavier payload of 150 tons standard to 190 tons overload compared to 65 tons, a longer range of 200 nmi, 230 miles, 370 kilometers compared to 86 nmi, 99 miles, 159 kilometers, has the advantage of using its tracks to move inland from the beach and over 10 feet 3.0 meters sea walls, and is estimated to cost less than half as much to build and maintain per unit. The LCAC has a faster water speed of over 30 knots compared to 20 knots for the UHAC, and a smaller area of 1,800 square feet (170 square meters) compared to 2,500 square feet (230 square meters). The UHAC would be faster on water than the AAV and could even transport them to get closer to shore, or carry up to 3 M1 Abrams tanks. A production version would be survivable with a lower profile, armor, and armament. The concept for the UHAC began in 2008 with the goal to design an amphibious vehicle with low psi. The Office of Naval Research accepted the design from Navitech Inc., and three prototypes have been constructed since a one-fifth scale model, a one-quarter scale model, and the half-scale model. Currently, the UHAC effort is a collaborative effort between the USONR and the Singapore Ministry of Defence Science and Technology Department. No decision has been made on taking the final steps necessary to produce the full-scale version. <laughs> <laughs> 